One man is in jail this evening after trying to break into a jewelry store in Shadyside, and police say it was a former employee. Chris Hoffman explains how he got in and why he got away with absolutely nothing. The jewelry store owner says nothing was taken because it's all put away in a safe at night. So he says, quite frankly, it's not worth anyone's time to even try to rob them. According to Pittsburgh police, an alarm went off around 510 Friday morning at Henny Jewelers in the 5500 block of Walnut Street in Shadyside. Minutes in their multiple cars, multiple police officers. They had the whole scene covered. Police found no signs of anyone breaking into the ground floor showroom. As they searched the rest of the building, they found debris and broken ceiling tiles in a back office. Court papers say officers heard a person in the air duct in the ceiling. They caught him almost instantly. Officers then headed to the roof and found 22-year-old Vincent Legrand of Pittsburgh. He wasn't armed, but had tools that are commonly used in burglaries. Legrand told officers he used the air duct to get into the Henny offices. After he broke through the ceiling, the alarms went off and he tried to get away. Our alarm system is the best and it triggers instantly if anybody attempts to get in or gets in in any way. According to court papers, when police took Legrand away, he yelled a store manager was going to be mad because he used to work there. I do feel sorry for the individual and, um, you know, frankly, uh, hope that he can turn his life around. Store owner John Henney says Legrand worked in the shipping department for about four months last year before he stopped showing up and quit in January. According to Henney, Legrand made it nowhere near the jewelry store showroom. There's nothing that anybody can take. We put everything away at night in the vault. It's all locked and secured. In Shadyside, Chris Hoffman.